Hey crew, the Behemoth Titan is a beast in PvE now. Yes, you heard that right, a absolute monster. Later in the video, there will be some clips from the Master 1360 dungeon of the Behemoth just destroying anything it comes across. So this build and the Behemoth in general is definitely viable in endgame content. And with the changes to Diamond Lance, it is a absolute blast in easy content. I just feel so powerful grabbing that lance and slamming it into the ground and watching every single enemy shatter around me. There's just something so satisfying about it. There was a lot of changes to the Behemoth Titan, so to sum it up quickly, we can now have 5 fragment slots. I believe we could only have 3 previously. Also the Diamond Lance now spawns with all stasis ability kills and stasis weapon kills, so we have a lot of different ways to create lances. And then lastly, the super got buffed where the melee does a lot more damage, I believe something like 50%. And with the stasis crystal damage buff, it turns our super into an ad clearing machine and it also can just destroy champions as you'll see later on. It creates so many crystals and the shatter damage goes off that it's pretty crazy to see on screen. It's a really fun way to play. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then join the crew and hit that subscribe button for me. Also for my regular viewers that are watching, if you guys could let the video play out until the end, that really helps support me and the channel and I appreciate it, so thank you. And if you guys haven't joined the Discord, make sure you do so you get access to the builds pick channel that you see on screen here. All my builds in the future will be in this channel for Witch Queen and then as soon as Dim has everything up and working, there will be links to be able to click on those builds and just hopefully one click and equip the entire build. Also, there will be a pic of the build in the video somewhere for you guys that just want to screenshot it as well. Trust me, I didn't forget about you. Okay, so let's go over the Behemoth subclass here. You want to make sure you're running Glacier Grenade, of course, because this is a Shatter build. As our first aspect, you're running Tectonic Harvest. Shattering a Stasis Crystal creates a Stasis Shard. This shard grants melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. This gives us two fragments. And then we're also running Diamond Lance. Shatter or defeat targets with Stasis abilities to create a Stasis Lance. You can slam this thing into the ground or you can throw it from a distance and this gives us three fragments. For fragments, you want Whisper of Fissures. Increase the damage and size of the Burst of Stasis when you destroy a Stasis Crystal or defeat a frozen target. You want Whisper of Shards. Shattering a Stasis Crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional Stasis Crystals increases the duration of this benefit. You want Whisper of Conduction where all of the Stasis Shards seek right to us. This helps us so we don't have to run around and pick them up. You want Whisper of Rending. Kinetic weapon do increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. So Whisper of Rending got 100% damage buff this season. So definitely use it. That's what allows my sidearm here to just destroy the glacier crystals so fast. If you don't use this, it doesn't work as well because it takes too long to shoot your crystals. Right? It's such a pain to sit there and unload a full clip of anything into a crystal to destroy it so whisper of rending fix that for us and then we have whisper of rhyme collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield which falls off after 10 seconds collecting additional shards adds the overshield and refreshes the timer this is for survivability and also gives us health if our health is low if you're in easy content you could sub this out and do whisper of torment as well now for our mods on my helmet i'm running double ashes to assets this gives us bonus super energy on grenade kills the shattering of those crystals every time it kills enemies literally counts as grenade kills so we get our super very quickly which you don't have to worry about the intellect stat and then we also have bountiful wells on the helmet elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells can now stack spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped for our gauntlets we have grenade kickstart when your grenade energy is fully expended you gain grenade energy this is so when we throw our grenade, we get a little bit of grenade energy back. This isn't 100% needed. I have it on for extra. If you need champion mods, you can always take this off. I'm running fastball in the gameplay, you see as well. So that could always be traded out for anti-barrier or overload uh, bow. And I have that on during the clips that you see against the champions. And then also on our gauntlets, we have elemental charge. Become charged with light by picking up an elemental well and we're picking up the solar elemental wells. On our chest piece, we have protective light. That's how we're spending our charge. This is for damage reduction. This can also be subbed out on easier content for like another explosive well maker. Just put on a solar piece, right? Or a grenade well maker, right? Grenade ordnance. Any of those can be subbed out if you're doing easier content. 
And then also on the chest, I run sniper damage resistance and harder content. And of course, a reserves for whatever weapons I am using. And then we have our leg armor. We have explosive well maker on it. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well. I also have on um, the fusion rifle scavenger from the artifact. And then depending on what type of um, boots I'm wearing, if I'm running with explosive well maker, then I'm also running innervation to get back some grenade energy when we pick up an orb of light. And then on our class item, we're running Bomber. So every time we pop our barricade, our class ability, we get grenade energy. I'm also running Particle Deconstruction. And then as the Well mod, it is Well of Ordinance. Picking up a Solar Elemental Well grants you additional grenade energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase this effect. So this is straight up a grenade build. We are trying to get that Glacier Grenade as often as possible. So we can spam it as often as possible and do massive damage. Now the super, like I said earlier, got a really big buff, so do not sleep on it. A lot of people, you know, in the past, the Glacier super was not good. The Behemoth super was terrible. When they did nerfs like two seasons back, they pretty much ruined it. So it is back to being very good in PvE. The shatter damage from crystals and stasis crystals just do so much damage. It's absolutely ridiculous. When you right click, and create the field of crystals and literally just run through them everything around you dies like literally everything and you're creating shards that entire time from tectonic harvest so you're healing yourself and you're gaining overshield with it as well it's pretty fun pretty unique and pretty different that's what i really like about it it's just creating this field of crystals that you run through and shattered it's really fun and then the melee shiver strike use it quite often especially just the normal version of it even when you're not in your super because it did get like a 50 percent damage buff so it does a lot more damage which is awesome we love that right and it literally was hitting those knights pretty hard in the uh in the dungeon i'm not sure if it would one shot them but definitely when they're like half health it kills them so i thought that was really really cool if you guys enjoyed this video and watched it till the end till now thank you guys for watching it i really appreciate it the channel has been going very well. The Discord has been very well. And if you're still here watching, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. I never thought the channel would be this big. You guys have really helped me out. I can't say it enough. Um, I just had my birthday the other day and I was thinking about it, uh, talking to my wife about it. And it's crazy just to think of how much this channel has grown. So thank you guys. I hope to see you in future videos. I hope you guys watch all my content. Thank you for watching the content. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.